Hello everyone, and welcome back to Prey. When we last left off, we took part in some strange tests, which I don't really get the point of, other than the last one, which was to discern something. I don't know what it was to discern, but I know it's like a standardised test thing that they always ask. There's five people on a track, and one person on the other one. You can switch the tracks to kill one, or none, or something. You know. Um, and it's not really a morality question, I guess it's more of a brain question thing. Anyway, we woke up again. It's the same exact day as before. Um, I didn't know there was a door over here. Hello? More of those red things. Uh, Austin, Texas. Kennedy Space Center. The Great Wall of China. Okay. I have to re-pick up everything because my inventory exist. Eh? This wasn't here before. Voice conversion technology enables synthesis items to generate speech patterns based on the source of in or entirely new voices, without the need for exhaustive recordings and pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversion function and limitations in processing power. Okay. Enter password. I've got six emails. Danger, leave now. Eom. From January to Morgan U. Who's January? CC. Eom. They all say the same thing. Eom. Maybe they all say Mo backwards. That is the same thing. Damn chair. Oh, it's on the opposite side now. Congrats, Morgan. We're just making sure there's nothing new. Ooh, tomatoes. Or tomatoes. However, is that a rice cooker? It's a weird ass old fashioned looking rice cooker. things again. I read that. I guess we just have... Ooh. I guess that's me. That's Alex. That's our mother and father. Alright. The courier. It looks like our heads were just planted on some other people's bodies. <laughs> It looks so out of place. The light's flickering, I don't mind that. At least I replaced my soap. Yeah, let's go down the bars. I'm still wearing clothes instead of, you know, pajamas. Who really wears socks into bed? That's just, that's just disturbing. Those towels are clipping through the shower. Nice and clean, brush my teeth. Well, time to work. Um, I guess. I didn't get an email this time. Oh, wait, we should probably save power. Better stay. I was hoping to check the window, but it's still jammed. Oh well. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, a flashlight. There's a wall here. It wasn't there before. What? I have a wrench now. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. One second. The Hephaestus Hefty Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in trans staff facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. 
Press right trigger to swing your wrench. Important to press and hold to charge the attack for maximum damage. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. My code name Mim is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. Oh, okay then. If you want to know what's going on, first you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Okay. Um, I have a question. Why is my flashlight a rectangle? This wasn't here before. I make crunching noises. What the hell happened to your face? You look literally like a, a, an alien now. I want to get down low again. Sorry for your loss, or your death. So mission, escape the fuckhole. A stranger named January contacted me to say that I'm in danger and I need to escape my apartment. There's something about January's voice that's bothering me. I guess. I guess she sounds like the AI robot. Um, yeah, there's a way outside. Well, I got a wrench. Time to smash. Um, excuse me. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. You'll have to explain to me why I'm being observed and it's not real. February 22nd, 2035. Zero, th zero to 7.30, sleeping. 7.31, wakes up, turns off alarm. 7.32, checks transcribe. 7.34 to 7.55, on computer, various tasks. 8.04, take shower. 8.26, puts on uniform, exit apartment. That's pretty much what I did. Just tell me about, like, jumping on top of the table <laughs> or picking up and reading everything. Okay. If you've been on the branches of a main project line, you know that sometimes we need to put extra effort in. Uh, Evelyn McCarthy. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. No long term damage will likely inflict from a constant Euromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put an extra effort to hit our milestones and any external risks are fully taken into account with the decisions are made. To move, the move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Okay. Well, I know this morning's incident has left people shaking to prevent unnecessary panic. Please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Elizar, a security team on high alert, will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy, but he's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in a critical and stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to your project. Okay. Oh, wow. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. I sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Well, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Okay then, that was not real. Pigeon test. Vision and visuals have been disabled due to a glitch in the render data. Okay. I haven't been here for a while, there's all these coffee stains. Very weird. Like, what the hell happened? Simulation briefing observation. I don't I don't know where am I supposed to be going? 
Because I want to go the opposite way. <laughs> My apartment isn't what it thought it was. Get to the main lobby. Oh, weird ass looking old technology. Wow. It really is a simulation. Soundstage rules. Absolute silence when simulation is in progress. Do not enter stage unless it is in costume. Do not interact with subject off script. Sound stage A reminders. Always reset the position of stage props in apartments after each test. Replacements for damaged props can be found in the storage area. Be careful not to bump glass when in observation zones. Sound stage B reminders. The helicopter ride looking glass sequence should only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Always return to the helicopter, or always return the helicopter to its ready position after being serviced. Wait a minute. So, we go out that door, go through here, we should then... What? Oh. It literally opens up there. Okay, do not open while simulation is in progress, of course. Um, we'll go in there in a minute. Emergency phone. Hello? I need help. Something's gone wrong. I'm being watched or something? What the fuck is it? The safe code is... Non-local subliminal... That's the brain. With a bunch of feet stuff all over it. Manufacturing order number 65489 to deliver to Marco Simmons from the fabrication department. Skoo! Simni moot! Marking this entire skew is defective. Investigate with fabrication Marco. Password ICOP0876. At least it automatically does it, and I don't have to remember. Remember about company policy or policy. This is a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Password protection. Do not share your password with anyone. Password sensitive. Password should not be entered. Email messages. Do not write down your passwords. Already done. Sorry they failed that. How about this morning? Uh, same as before. Bad news. The test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct error mark? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. Hello? Um. Oh, I just realised this is following me. Hello, diploma. Masters in computer science. Why does something seem to be destroyed? Shut up. That looks like it's a one, maybe one zero three. Okay. One zero. required. Okay. I guess I can't do anything with that right now. Hey, that's like the other elevator door. Oh! Wait, what? Hold on a sec. So, there's my room. Goes out into the hallway, which leads to there. The wall is closed. I guess this is turned, which is why it's closed. Uh, what the fuck is that? Wait a minute, those are the testing rooms. Let's go this way. Uh, 
Um, there appears to be a leak here, you might want to get that checked out. There's my room. And again, another lookout point, okay. Placement pots, 744 IP428. Wow. Just a bunch of drinks. Okay. So am I actually the sister of you, of Alex then, or not? Why am I being experimented on? Why is it saying that I've agreed to things I don't remember agreeing to? Mmm, <laughs> all this wine. Oh, what? What? Oh, fuck! What the hell are you? Question mark, question mark, corpse. Yeah, what the fuck? A Typhon organ and a mimic tumor. Don't... What the hell was that? I literally was just walking along here and I get attacked. What even attacked me? I think it was a box here? I mean, we kind of know that they can take forms of other things, so... We saw it take form of a cup. Is it the same thing? Did it... Did they not deal with that and just left it and it just went around killing people? Well, it explains how that woman died. So let me force this open. This leads to the elevator. I guess this is not the elevator. Oh! It literally just... Oh, I get it! So they just turn the thing around. Which then says root and then disappears oh okay I hit my floor that opens up which then leads into here which then this shouldn't exist which leads to the elevators and then we click root Getting it. It was never real. Okay then. Probably gonna be like the first few episodes gonna have a slow start because I'm looking at everything. <laughs> Explosive canisters? What the hell are they doing there? I'm not touching those. Come from the roof, go in here, it's like, oh yeah, hello Mr. Morgan, I'm a robot, blah blah blah. Take the elevator, go in, press the button, and then everything changes to the lower level. Jeez, that would have created a lot of noise, I'm surprised we didn't hear any of that. Chan Star testing facility, okay. There's that thing again. Quick select allows menus to be blah blah blah. 
The quick select menu allows you to quickly alternate between weapons and powers. Assign weapons and powers, you can get powers, okay, to the quick select menu by highlighting the item in your inventory, then pressing Y to bring up the assigned item. Assign your favorite wheel, your favorite's wheel by pressing left, chair, blah, blah. Okay. So, let's assign that to the left. Whoops. It literally just has a blue screen. An error has occurred. The current application has failed. Follow the system reboot posture. Mr. Yu is inside the elevator during maintenance operations between restaurants. Report any technical. Oh, okay, that just needs to be swapped. Still. Test management. Reset the test rooms to test config to current configuration. Oh, well, there are the test rooms. What? Why are there two chairs? Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Oh! Hi there! Mimic. At least we've got your name now. So that's two of them then. Oh. Morning. Morgan's behavior. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief, pending a psych evaluation. Alex indicated that he, he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we grant it. Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same test of set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. The recommendation is we need to start charting personality check before future tests, in debriefings, and within the test itself. I didn't do anything like that. And who the hell is Xiao Long Heng? I did good. I got I got them out. I am behind the chair. Yeah. I press both. What more do you want? Next testing, please. Uh. Okay, maybe not. There's this picture again. Right, now I can actually see what it looks like. Hmm. It looks like... It looks like two harbingers looking at each other. From Mass Effect. Suing direct control. No, I am. No, I am. And this door doesn't open. Okay. 
Oh, onwards. I guess this is the opposite side of those staircases. Okay. Boy. It's a big setup for something like for me. What the hell's even going on with these monsters anyway? Stage B control. You can even see me from up top. Are you literally watching me as I sleep? That's really disturbing. It's a good thing I wear clothes while sleeping. Otherwise, that'd be weird. Stage B control. Again, who keeps breaking all these? Oh shit! Stupid jump scare. You're dead too. It's like they just sort of shrivel up. Greet Meekelson. I think he even says it on a jacket thing. Ah! I knew it was one of those because I heard ticking. I was like, what the hell's ticking? Okay to reset. Simulation C. Earthside echelon to Transtar. Glass off. Ah, through the looking glass, eh? Simulation scene. Now he's actually going to properly switch over. That's better. Although there does seem to be some problem over there, because there's no floor. Alright. Don't mind me, I'm just taking your stuff. Uh, anything over here I need? Not that I can see. We're going to have to come back for that damn safe, because I have no idea what the key to that would be. Uh, let me just check if I've picked anything up and I'm just not remembering. Wait a minute. Is the password the same as the password? Hold on a sec, I've got to try that out. It can't be that simple. It literally cannot be that simple. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, if it was that simple. Oh, six. Oh, six, seven, six. Okay, so it's not that. Um. I don't know anything about this, so I guess I'll just move on. Wait a minute, I have to go all the way back up, don't I? Fuck. God damn it. Did I just get myself stuck? Remember that safe. Safe in the beginning area. 
decontaminate. It burns! It it What the fuck? And it grew more legs! Oh, it just more slides. Oh, that's how the thing happened. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Why does he have a baseball bat? Go Jovan Grivalot. Gr Grivalotvik. And spare parts. I'm sorry. But with that, we shall stop here in the next episode. We shall find out what the hell is going on. Even more so. <laughs> Until then, it's Major Shepard. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Ciao.